I've been working since I was around 21 years old um, and basically devoted my life to making art. It has been a wonderful life. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend it to anyone uh, to do something that you love during your life. The whole exhibit starts on the street and that is the, another new piece which is called Offering Shrine and that is just hands giving objects out. You walk through a room of the museum and then you come to the stairs of my exhibition and you hear that same voice calling you up. And so in, in a way that's the beginning of the exhibition and it ends you know, with Song's Ascension and um, rotation. So, you know, it's like a line of calling. I'd like to start with the first work, uh, chronologically, that you have in this exhibit, which is 60 millimeter earrings. That's the first piece you see when you come up into the time capsule room. I made that when I was 23. And that was a real breakthrough for me because that was really the first time that I was able to accomplish what I had had glimpses of a vision of, which was a totally integrated form that included film for the first time, included a vocal track that went for, through the whole piece of my singing, that included some text, some movement, images, objects, the world of the senses into one poetic form. So that was a, a complete break, that was a breakthrough piece for me. So then I knew that I was on the right track. It was also the beginning of me understanding that anything in my life could be used as material, but always, of course, transformed into art. But, you know, my hair, my, you know, my parts of my body, but also my, my, what I was reading, you know, that anything in my life could be part of art, but it had to always be transformed through, you know, if to very, very deep, what I call sifting, you know, sifting until I come up with exactly the right element that's going to be in that piece. Because I think that when you try for a form like that, that includes all these different dimensions, and, it's, and the idea of that piece also in terms of the sensory um, immersive quality is also an affirmation of the audience an affirmation of all of us as human beings, our capacities, again, as intellectual people, as spiritual people, as feeling people, as, as people who have ears, eyes, and noses, and mouths, you know, and bodies, you know, so just an affirmation of life. In the beginning, I just did all the, the work, my vocal work myself as a soloist with keyboard or acapella. But then at a certain point, I knew I wanted to make more complex musical textures. I always say dancing voice, singing body. So there's a very kinetic aspect to our singing, even in the concert forms. So our, our forms are concert, or then these large theater works that do, musical theater works that do have movement and film in them. It's a template for the possibility of human behavior. And what that means is generosity, sensitivity, caring, love, you know, a, a, a kind of respect that you see that you actually and vulnerability because you know that's as performers we're very vulnerable we're on tight ropes and also creativity on stage you know in the moment being in the moment immediacy as a prototype of the possibility of human behavior even within something like a music concert. If you could, if you, and people really experience that. The music is, is the manifestation, but the message is the humans. The 40 minute piece that I worked on for 13 years, then just finished, called Songs of Ascension, that was shot in 2008 in this tower that was built by my friend Anne Hamilton and I, I wanted it to be a three screen installation so that you would feel you were inside the tower. And it, was, and it was also, the sound was recorded on three different tiers in the tower, low, middle, and high. So it's an eight speaker mix. So you're literally inside this situation. The voice is the most ancient instrument. It's the original human instrument. 
And I've always been very interested in um, early human utterance before there were words. It's a very powerful and ancient language and, and mechanism of going right from the center of the body out. And I, I, when I had the revelation about that the voice could be like an instrument, I also felt that I went right back to the, the blood of my family. The name of the whole exhibit is Calling, but I would say this is a manifestation of the call. Like, I, you know, I think that every artist or every person receives a kind of a call, and then you decide to respond to it or not. If you love what you're doing, you are going to find a way. So my, my only ex advice would be to not to really believe and to not let anyone tell you that you can't do it. And that doesn't only include art. It means if you want to be a chef, if you want to be a nurse, it doesn't matter how it manifests, but, but if you love something, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. You will definitely find a way. That's my advice.